Emerald Downs fans have also had the opportunity to see Chinook in person many times as well, including him greeting fans at the track's 10-year anniversary party in 2006. The people love to see him, and his outgoing personality has led to that wonderful life beyond the racetrack. I think the Seafair Parade was in the early 90s, and after that, um, Westlake Mall, Double Tree Inn for a breakfast to honor Ron Crockett. Um, a school, we went to a school that was reading Seabiscuit, and he went to a theater when Seabiscuit first opened. And um, I think he's, he's had a lot of opportunities and a lot of um, experiences beyond the racetrack which he's really enjoyed and he wouldn't have had those opportunities if he wasn't so willing to go places and do things, which most horses don't. And I really don't think any other horse on the property I could take to the places that Chinook's been and be comfortable with how they were going to react. It's been 20 years of care now under Hallen. Did she ever get a chance to experience his awesome speed? I have a couple times let him kind of run on the trail and one time in particular we had a little Palomino pony and we were starting out to canter my daughter and I and she went on ahead and he got so mad he bowed his head and grinded his teeth and it didn't take much to catch up to her but he really I've never let him run to the degree of course that he could but He's always wanting to go. As you can see, just leading him to the field. <laughs> He's not a dullard. He's very athletic still. He's got some um, old signs of old age. Um, but generally, he's in very good health. And um, I don't ride him anymore. He seems to have a little difficulty with negotiating different types of footing, especially going downhill. And he's just very careful. And there's really nowhere we can go that doesn't include downhill. So we ride, I'll pony him around the roads this summer and he'll get down to the lake and be able to splash. And he has his little system of trails through our woods. <laughs> so he seems pretty happy. I just feel honored to have been the one to be taking care of him all those years. You know, he's really not hard to handle, but um, it's kind of like a child that needs constantly something to do. So having all the things that he's done and all the places he's gone has been helpful to him. It's now the 25 year anniversary of Chinook's final start, his Long Acres Mile Triumph, and plans are in the process for another appearance of the great one at Emerald Downs. Official starter Mark Gibson and his gate crew are busy well before opening day. There are countless two and three year old unstarted horses who need to get comfortable and learn the routine of the starting gate. Uh, yeah, this, for this time of year we usually have probably start out about 45 head a day or so and then we get closer to the meet we'll have uh, close to 100, we'll get 100, 120, 20 a day. Start out uh, just walking them through and then go a little bit faster the next time open the doors a little quicker and it usually takes about six or seven, uh, six, seven trips probably to get them okay. We write their names down then we uh, will, when we're done after the morning my foreman will put them in the computer and so we can just punch up a trainer's name and note that horse will pop up and tell us just exactly how far along it is if we've had a problem with it or not and uh, try to get them to break all in the same you know just the, the just as fast as the ones that have already run and, and uh, it takes a little bit of time to get them up to that point. Trainer Vince Gibson had two pairs of young horses schooling at the gate, aided by Emerald's experienced gate crew. The break this morning, willing and positive, they're about halfway through their gate education. The second pair is comfortable at this point in the learning process, and there will be more visits before ready to race. Opening day at Emerald Downs is Friday, April 18th.